This is contagious as aerosol. Last summer, Caldwell Mill Animal Clinic was treating hundreds of dogs a day for canine influenza. They say it's much less now because they require the flu vaccine for any dog to stay. Right now, we don't let dogs come into the clinic and stay if they're not current on their flu vaccinations. Dr. Andy Sokol says the 2022 outbreak was the first time he's seen dog flu in Birmingham in more than 20 years. And he says it's still circulating and spreading when dogs come in close contact. If your dog walks down the street and you say he doesn't see other dogs, but if another dog has walked through that street, they're leaving germs airborne that your dog can come in contact with. Symptoms are similar to the human flu, but if not treated, it can become severe. Hacking cough, fever, lethargy, and then it can go into something more serious like pneumonia. And in here, we've lost two patients that had um, dog flu. Sokol says dog flu will continue to spread in the community and requiring the vaccine is the best way to control it. I'm hoping all the clinics in Birmingham um, are requiring the vaccine as well so we can um, vaccinate and protect and therefore we could at least control the population that's having the flu. Now, Sokol says that most dogs will usually start showing those severe coughing symptoms about two to five days after they were exposed. So at the border or the dog park or crossing paths with another dog. But he says most vet clinics in the area do have this dog flu vaccine, and it usually only costs around 40 to $50 to help keep your dog safe. Live tonight here in Birmingham, I'm Lauren Jackson, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.